This is verse 43 of the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, extending the discussion concerning uh, compensatory justice, uh, damages, that sort of thing, all stemming from the eye from uh, eye for an eye principle that was uh, spelled out by Jesus some time earlier. He keeps giving further examples of the principle here, and uh, now we have another one, which is partially a quote from the Old Testament, but uh, added to it is a little bit of additional commentary as he uh, uh, spells it out. So we have akusata from akuo, uh, second person uh, plural, aristactive indicative, so you heard, or you have heard, hoti, the conjunction, arethe uh, from areo, <coughs> means uh, to hear, um, or to say, actually, it means to say, so you heard that it was said. This is the aorist passive, uh, third person singular, so you have heard that it was said, and then agapase, so this is the future. So uh, this is the uh, second person singular, future active indicative, you shall love. Uh, stated as uh, uh, an imperative here, but actually the future can function that way. Tone, uh, placeon from palos, an adjective that means near. This is the word for neighbor. So a neighbor is by definition someone who is near you. You shall love your neighbor. Uh, so far so good. That uh, is taken from Leviticus 19.18. Uh, you shall love your neighbor, the uh, possessive pronoun, second person genitive. So you shall love the neighbor of you. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we have this additional uh, added note. You'll notice it's not in italics, indicating this is not part of that original quote and indeed is not found uh, as such in the New Testament. Meseses, this is from Meseo, it means I hate. Again, second person singular, future active indicative, and you shall hate, tone ekthron, uh, the word for uh, enemy, ekthros uh, su, the possessive pronoun. So you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Well, the love your neighbor part is there. The hate your enemy is a little harder to construct. You do have statements in the Old Testament that could be construed in that direction, especially statements such as Moses uh, pronouncing uh, <coughs> judgment against the Amalekites because they had uh, attacked the people of God and, and justifying a kind of hateful attitude toward them, that sort of thing. I think that's worthy of some conversation as to what's going on there. But uh, manifestly, the statement, as it's uh, set forth right here, uh, is now found in the Old Testament, uh, and Jesus, of course, is going to offer a corrective to that. A corrective that actually also could be suggested from the Old Testament. There's a text in the Old Testament, for example, that says if your enemy's donkey has fallen into a pit, uh, you shouldn't uh, uh, view the fact that it's the enemy's possession as a reason to abuse it or ignore it, but you should actually extend some help for it. And so you could really, uh, even from the Old Testament, make the case that Jesus is going to make in the ensuing uh, comment here.